Okay, you should all have right now in front of you a pan, a pie dish, a plate, anything that you have that's about the size of a normal dish. It doesn't have to be circular, it could be rectangular and you need a relatively large dish. Then you need a smaller dish, whether it be a Petri dish or a cup or a mug, anything along those lines. That's something smaller that you could place these small objects or seed-like structures inside. So this dish is gonna represent, represent your finch's environment in which they live. So the part of the island in which they live. The seeds that I asked you to brought, bring, so here I have my lentil seeds. These are what the lentil seeds actually look like. If you notice, they're very small in size. These are representing the finch's food. If you don't have lentils, no worries. You could easily use beads you would use to make a bracelet. In addition, you could use sprinkles. You could use cereals such as like Honey Nut Cheerios or Rice crispy cereal or anything that has a small structure similar to these beads or those lentil seeds. Now here I have my island. This is representing the finch's belly or the finch's stomach. And it's your job to use the tool that you were assigned, such as maybe like the tweezer or the pliers. And you are going to transfer only one seed at a time from your island into your stomach. And you're gonna continuously do this and try to get as many seeds as you possibly can get in 30 seconds. You are not allowed to get two or more seeds at a time. So let's say I have my tool as a spoon. I cannot scoop up a bunch of lentils and dump it into my stomach. That counts as cheating. You can only take one. So if you get more than one, you're dumping the rest back and you're putting that into your stomach. Your stomach should be outside of your dish. You should also be spreading out your seeds or your cereal or your sprinkles or whatever you're using so that it's fair. Because remember, this is your environment. If you go out in nature, not all the food is pushed into one area. So it has to be spread out. At the end of 30 seconds, I'm gonna call time. And at that point, you're gonna count the number of seeds you actually have in your dish.